or returning to our top story now. And the saga over Angus Taylor, a key part of Labor's attack this week, is focused on a call the Prime Minister made for the New South Wales Police Commissioner Mick Fuller on Tuesday. The pair have both downplayed any suggestion of impropriety relating to that phone call. But in breaking news this afternoon, the New South Wales Greens MP, David Shoebridge, has referred Mick Fuller to the Law Enforcement Conduct Commission over the phone call. He joins me now from Sydney. David Shoebridge, thanks for your time. You essentially no, pleasure, don't believe Scott Morrison or Mick Fuller. Well, I don't think you take any political player and the police commissioner in New South Wales has, has put himself into the political mix. You don't take anything at face value without properly investigating it. Now, we, I, I do believe what uh, Prime Minister Morrison said on the record in Hansard, that he'd had what appears to have been a detailed conversation with the police commissioner where they had uh, discussed the instigation, um, the, the content and the direction of the police investigation with, um, uh, of, of Angus Taylor, the Prime Minister's close political colleague. Um, and I've taken the Prime Minister at his word about the, the detail and the scope of that conversation and, and relying upon what the Prime Minister said in Hansard um, I've obviously referred that matter to the police oversight body here because I don't believe it's appropriate for the police commissioner in New mm. South Wales, who is a, a friend, you know, a, an erstwhile neighbour, a, a bin taker in her of um, uh, the, the Prime Minister. Um, I don't believe it's appropriate for him to be disclosing anything um, other than what's on the public record about a police investigation of the Prime Minister's close colleague. Totally inappropriate. Right, but from what Scott Morrison has said on the record, you say he's put details out there. He has said all he's been told about was that there was an investigation, that it was launched because it was a serious accusation and that because Mark Dreyfus uh, wrote a letter. So when you say he's put all these details out there, he hasn't actually listed anything beyond what is known in the public sphere. Well, the Prime Minister came into Parliament and said that he was given information in a conversation with, the, with his... With Mick Fuller, who he knows personally, um, he was given mm. information about a police investigation of his very close colleague, um, Angus Taylor, and he was given information about the instigation and the conduct and the evidence that had been provided to the police for that inquiry. Now, there are all sorts of reasons why that shouldn't have happened. One of the primary reasons is that when police are undertaking an investigation, they rarely want the person of interest in that investigation to know the full suite of evidence that they have. Because where, where did he say uh, he'd been told about the evidence that had been presented? Well, that was, what, um, that was what Prime Minister Morrison said to Parliament. He said, he said and I've, I haven't got the exact words um, to, to hand, but he said he had been told that all that the police had was the referral that came from Labor. That's, that's, that's a, a, a paraphrasing of what he said. And he also gave, uh, he also told Parliament that he'd been given details about the instigation and the conduct of that investigation by the New South Wales Police. Now, um, the police almost never want the person who they're investigating to know the full details of the evidence they have about their conduct. They like to play a close hand in order to, um, uh, to encourage the person of interest to say more um, and to provide mm. further details about what exactly went on. And, and, and further, what on earth is Commissioner Fuller doing, dipping his hand into this investigation, when there's such an obvious conflict of interest? This isn't... OK, well, a couple um, of things there. First of all, on the wording here, because you say you're not sure the exact wording. The wording is important. I don't recall at any stage Scott Morrison saying he was told about the evidence that had been presented in this well, case. Well, I'll, I'll read, I'll read you, to you, you that he from said that? Hansard. He said... Sure. And this is, this is the quote... Um, I have since spoken with the New South Wales Police Commissioner Mick Fuller about the instigation, the nature and the substance of the inquiries, um, which he advised me were based only on the allegations referred by the Shadow Attorney General. So I stand by what I said, because that's what the Prime instigation. Minister said. Instigation. Well, there's no evidence what the Prime there. Well, you said, said evidence. That doesn't say evidence. The substance though, of the Jewish. inquiries. He says he got he got mm. he got he was provided with information about the substance of their inquiries. And he was also told that it was based only on the allegations referred by the Shadow Attorney General. But this if you, if you take material. those words, could that, could that not mean he was told, we've launched an investigation, it amounts to accusations of criminality and uh, doctoring of documents, 
it's based on a referral we got from Mark Dreyfus. Wouldn't that cover all the things you just said? Well, it may, but if the, if the police commissioner has, ex has disclosed to the Prime Minister the substance, and I'll, I'll quote again from the Prime Minister, the substance mm. of the police inquiries, and they've disclosed that to, to, a, to a person he has a personal relationship with, which is the Prime Minister, knowing full well that the person that Commissioner Fuller is disclosing it to is a close political colleague of the person under investigation and has a clear right, what, political vested interest. We, we perhaps in, are left in, to guess a in, bit what in, substance in, means here, David Shoebridge, but he didn't say evidence. Substance, and that might be the thing that, you know, if we sit down with the Prime Minister, we can ask him about. Substance could mean that this is what it's based on. The substance of this case is what Mark well, Draper well, has Tom, said and what's in the public, and well, what's in the well, public sphere right now meaning. about it's, metadata, it's, for example, Sydney City Council. That's the yeah, substance well, Tom, of it right now. You, you can try and parse that and minimise it if you like, but the ordinary meaning of substance mm. is the content, the meat and potatoes, if you like. So he told, he mm. told the Prime Minister about the meat and potatoes, the substance of the investigation. The Prime Minister is a, he has a personal relationship with the Prime Minister, so there's an obvious conflict of interest. He shouldn't have been within a, within a bull's roar of this okay. investigation, the Police Commissioner, and he would have known if, that, that okay. the Prime Minister has a vested political interest in this investigation, finding nothing against the Prime Minister's close colleague, okay. Minister we're, Taylor. We're so time. Can why I ask is he you having this? that conversation? We've heard so far Sorry, what Mick Fuller has said, that what he relayed was only that the investigation was happening, the fact that there was the Mark Dreyfus referral and the serious crime level. If there is an investigation and that is confirmed, that's all he relayed, but he still took the call from Scott Morrison, would he retain your confidence to continue in the job? Well, I think the police commissioner needs to have a good solid look at his behaviour here. Why did he put himself in a situation where he's disclosing the substance of the investigation, to use the Prime, the Prime Minister's words, mm. the substance well, of the investigation he didn't have the phone to number, somebody... So he picks up the phone it's Scott Morrison. He goes, look, the investigation, all I can tell you is it's being launched. Mark Dreyfus wrote a letter. There's an allegation of a doctor document and we are investigating. Well, well, Hang up. Yeah, Tom, you I mean, I accept that I, the phone? From, from what I understand, the Prime Minister made the call. So I accept that, that it wasn't hmm. a call initiated by the police commissioner. That's understood. Um, but the appropriate hmm. response for an extremely experienced, decade-long police officer um, would have been to say, look, Scott, uh, you and I have a personal relationship. I can't discuss this with you. Um, uh, a, a statement will be put on the, on the public record um, and you'll have to rely upon that public record or contact the okay, police. Okay, well, clearly he didn't, we, we, he, he, we, we he didn't say that. We should not have this conversation, so is what he should have said. Does, has he lost your confidence regardless then because he didn't go down that path? Well, I, I believe that that is seriously inappropriate behaviour from the police commissioner. I believe that questions whether or not he should have the role of the police commissioner, but at this stage you I've referred go, it to the independent police oversight body. Um, in the meantime, um, I, I think that there is You seem a, to be indicating we're not a, quite a strong... saying you think he should go, David Shoebridge. Well, I don't believe it's appropriate for the police commissioner. I don't think the police commissioner mm. should actively embroil themselves in politics and I think it shows um, a lack of uh, a, a lack of common sense, if nothing else, from the police commissioner. I question whether or not, um, given that, he should retain the confidence of the of the Premier and the Police Minister in New South Wales. And I look forward to an independent so you investigation it, but you're not quite by the going league. That step further, you're just at this stage saying it's a question mark. You're not saying he should go. Well, well what I'd say at this point is we need. I, I think. I believe in fair investigations, so I believe the Commissioner right. should be able to put his case to the LEC. On the information in the public domain that we have from the Prime Minister, I, I question whether or not he should retain the confidence um, of, okay. of the Premier. I question whether or not he should remain in office, but I think we need to give people fair process and <clears throat> the Commissioner should be able to provide his response in detail to the LEC.